Number 18. The voltage across a membrane forming a cell wall is 80 millivolts, and the membrane is 9 nanometers thick. What is the electric field strength? Um, so it's basically like a parallel plate capacitor, the cell membrane that is. Okay, you have a voltage potential. Here's the membrane, right? It's like a phospholipid bilayer. Ooh, biology. And we realize that the voltage across it is going to be 80 uh, millivolts right, millivolts, but we know we're gonna to have to convert that into volts. So simply divide that by a thousand, so 0 0.08 volts. And we also now know the distance between the two. All right, my drawing is very good today. And this is nine nanometers thick, but you know we're gonna need that in meters. So simply just take that, multiply it by 10 to the minus ninth, and that'll be it in meters. And now we have to find then the electric field strength between these two plates, so to speak, okay? So we need the formula, right? Remember that the voltage between the two parallel plates is gonna be equal to the electric field between those two plates, which remember the electric field is constant everywhere between two parallel plates. And that's multiplied by the distance between those two plates. So if I gotta find E, simply divide out D from both sides. And now I can literally just plug it on in. So 0 0.08, all divided by the nine times 10 to the minus ninth. And what do we have for her Johnny? Let's see, that was a little excessive, huh? Nine times 10, wasn't that in a movie? I think it was. Do you know what movie? Leave a comment. So three sig figs, I guess. So 8.89 times 10 to the three. I, God, there's too many eights on this calculator. Three, I guess that's six. I don't know, that looks good. And that'll be in volts per meter or Newtons per Coulomb, that's the other unit, they're equivalent, and sure, guys, thank you so very much. I do hope this video helps, and if it did, give us a hand. You know what to do. I appreciate it so much. Take care.